What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Got a little bit different episode for you guys today. Now I want to introduce a new sponsor to the channel. We have Drewcraft right here, okay? And Drewcraft is a dealer of ionic lithium batteries right here. And they have sent me some batteries and a charger to install in the boat. Now I am up here at In N Out Power Sports, all right, Matt Rowan. He's the mechanic that I use, great fella. He knows what he's doing. All of his information will be in the description of this video, so be sure to go check that out. And we're gonna be installing these batteries in this video. All right, guys, this is what the setup is looking like right now. We got a bunch of wires going everywhere, and I believe Matt has an idea to kind of clean this up. I've been running two lead batteries, okay? Acid lead batteries, and then I have one lithium right here for the trolling motor but we're going to take these three batteries out and then we're going to put the two ionic batteries in here if you're already subscribed to the channel i greatly appreciate it thank you for the support liking commenting sharing means the world to me thank y'all so much if you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love crappie fishing this is the channel for you smash that subscribe button come join the 903 fishing family all right guys let's get these batteries in y'all stay tuned so we right just, now we're, so what are we do, doing right now? We're using the lithium for your trolling motor? Correct, lithium is straight uh, trolling motor. And then I believe- The front and backs are Cranking together. right here, I believe. Yeah, this one in the And then the, the back, the back one back there has all the accessories. Well, they're, they're tied together. Oh, they're together, okay. Yeah. So yeah, they're charging together as well. All right, guys, we got the charger out and we're gonna be replacing it with this Minn Kota Precision lithium battery charger. So I'm stoked about that, should be good. And we have, so far we have, we have all three batteries out right now. Okay, so this is what it looks like. All three batteries are out. Guys, this is a 99 bass tracker right here. Okay, so, I mean, it is, you know, it's an older boat but we're probably gonna to try to clean some of this up right here. And then what's going in next is the Ionic Deep Cycle. These are both 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries right here. I'm basically taking out three batteries and replacing them with these two Ionic Deep Cycle batteries right here. And these two lithiums are gonna run the whole boat. Trolling motor, cranking for the big motor as well. We have two Helix 7 graphs on the boat as well. And these two batteries are going to power this whole bass tractor right here. All right, guys. So right now, Matt's putting all new connections basically on, on everything. Just a little upkeep. And um, so what's the next step, Matt? Just clean it up. Make it look good. Get some battery trays moved. All right, yeah. See, we got these two battery trays in here, guys. The big lithium was sitting in the middle. Okay, so now we got to, we're probably going to take these out, I would think, and we're, then we're going to be able to put these uh, ionic batteries where we want to. So that's going to be our next step right now. Okay, guys, little update right here. So Matt said this is a size 24 tray. These lithiums are size 27. Um, so what's going to happen is the tray in the back is actually a size 27. And these are riveted onto the boat. And then we're gonna put the charger right here in the middle. Uh, Matt, Matt thinks that that's the best way to do it. So that's what we're gonna do. You know, sometimes you just gotta think about what the best way to do something is and then maybe trial and error, just see how it goes. Okay guys, quick update. This is what we decided to do, okay? Matt had a size 27 tray extra laying around right here. So we went ahead and took out that 24 size tray put in the 27 and now we have both lithiums in the boat right here strapped down okay this is really important to be able to strap down these lithium batteries so they're not able to move anywhere and then we have the 
Precision Charger Minn Kota in the middle, okay? Now, all we got to do is bolt down that charger, and then we're going to start connecting all these wires back to the batteries. All right, guys, we got everything in the boat. We got the charger in the boat. We got the two ionic lithium batteries here. Now, the next step in this process is to make sure everything works. So let's go test the equipment. All right, guys, like I said, the next step is to go ahead and test out all of our equipment. So come on, let's test it out. Now, I'm hoping to also get a better image on my fish finders with these lithium batteries as well. And look at there, the console graph turns on. So let's go up here to the front. We got the front graph right here. It turns on as well. And then, let me see, we got the trolling motor here. I don't know if y'all can see that right there, but we have power on the trolling motor. And then, of course, you wanna go ahead and test all your accessories, live well pump, bilge pump, and all of that good stuff. So let's see right here. We got power on the Navionic lights here. Uh, the bilge pump turns. Live well's good. There's no light on this one, but it works. And then the other accessories turns on. So guess what, guys? It looks like we're ready to get on the water. But there's one more thing I want to show you about these ionic lithium batteries. All right, family. Now, the last thing I want to show you all about these ionic lithium batteries is they do have Bluetooth capability. Okay? And all you got to do is download the ionic blue batteries app on your smartphone, Android or iPhone. It really doesn't matter and it looks like this right here click on it and guess what it gives you your power what your batteries are sitting at right here and now matt also uses ionic batteries so his batteries are showing up on here as well and so are my two and all you got to do is click on one and it will let you know the exact level of that battery check that out so this battery right here is 57% charged, 100 amp hours right there. And this is awesome, guys. This right here allows you to know exactly where your power is on your batteries when you're out on the water. If you get off the water, it lets you know if you need to charge them for the next trip or not. So this right here is great for uh, your ionic batteries. One more thing that you can do with these batteries, you know, it, it has the uh, percentage of the battery here. There's other features on here where you can see everything about this specific battery. It gives you the temperature of the battery, the health of the battery right here. It gives you the amps that are being used right now, which is of course is zero. And then also it tells you everything about the battery, low temperature discharge, overcurrent discharge, everything that you need to know about your ionic battery is right here in this app. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. I do appreciate y'all for watching. And one more thing, that I know that you're gonna be interested in is remember Drewcraft is a dealer of ionic lithium batteries, okay? I have a code 903 fishing that you can use at drewcraft.com. The link will be in the description of this video and it is gonna save you a certain percentage depending on what battery that you buy. You're gonna be able to save a little money with code 903 fishing at drewcraft.com. And also in and out power sports, y'all be sure to check out Matt his information will also be in the description of this video. He's the guy, man. I'm telling y'all right now, if you have any motor issues, installations, or anything of that nature, cosmetic work as well, Matt will get you in and out over at in and out Power Sports in Tyler, Texas. And if you haven't, smash that like button for me. It really helps out the channel. I greatly appreciate all the support. I say it in every single one of my videos, but I truly mean it, guys. Thank y'all so much. If you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. God bless y'all. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. And I want to thank the good Lord above, too. Without him, none of this would be possible. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love fishing, hit that subscribe button. Come join the 903 Fishing family. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Perfect.